You guys can go on your favorite e-commerce website right now and they sell these sifters that fit on five gallon buckets. It's like $130 for a set of five. Or you might be a fan of the regular wooden sifter, which is another cheap alternative. But I'm gonna show you guys how I built this compost sifting system out of two five gallon buckets. It's real nice. It's got a locking mechanism that holds these buckets in place. You put the material in here, give it a shake. And when you're done, you get some really nice fine compost so let's go inside i'm going to show you how i built this and see if it's something that interests you <laughs> first thing we're going to do get us two five gallon buckets and then we are going to take one of these five gallon buckets put it over here because we don't need it right now this one i was using this to grow plants in this bucket we're going to take this one we're going to cut this bottom out but we're gonna leave a one inch lip around here. All you need for this is a utility knife with a sharp razor blade. It'll go right through this thin plastic. Try not to cut towards yourself. That's how accidents happen. Get the bottom cut out, ready to move on to the next step. Right here, I got some quarter inch hardware cloth. I'm going to take that quarter inch hardware cloth, lay it out on the floor here nice and flat, and we're going to put our bucket over the hardware cloth. Take a marker, I'm going to go around the outside of the bucket here, and just give it a nice trace. This mark we just made here is the outside of the bucket. The idea here is this hardware cloth is going to fit inside this bucket. So when we go to cut this, we're going to use this as a guideline, but we're going to cut it maybe about a quarter inch less than the outside is. So we're going to go towards the inside a quarter inch and just chop our way around. We're going to cut this thing out. All right, there we go. Put it in the bucket, give it a test fit. Make sure you don't have to cut any more off. Make sure you didn't cut it too small. And we're gonna go from there. Now you got a couple options here. This will work without securing it when you put the soil or the compost in here. It's gonna have some weight on here. So gravity's gonna help hold it down. Or you can secure it with screws, nuts, bolts. I'm gonna try a staple gun and see how that works. And my staples sticking out the top here. It's going to take a hammer and I'm going to hit them off to the side to keep them nice and tight. Here's what the bottom looks like with the staples all folded over so they're not going to cut me. Here's the inside. And you can see here, this is nice and secure now. So this is going to be our top part that we sift with. Now we're going to bring back the bottom bucket. So if you're anything like me, you hate it when you put your five gallon buckets together and they stick and you got to try to pry them apart. So what we're going to do here is we want to leave enough room in the bottom. So once we're sifting this compost, we can get a decent amount in here before we have to dump it. So I like a little more than halfway here because I want this to be kind of stable in here. So I'm just going to put a mark right here. And this is where I'm going to drill some holes in the side to put some studs sticking out so I can set this bucket on top of this one. So based off this mark, I'm just going to take a measurement. It's about four inches. So I'm going to put a mark here at four inches. So there's my original mark at four inches. What I did is I just evenly spaced out some marks around this bucket so I can get four studs in there. And then these, I'm just taking a quarter inch drill bit and I'm going to drill quarter inch holes at all my marks. Now I've got these three inch bolts. I'm just going to take these, feed them through from the inside, straight to the outside. And to hold these in place, I have some 
Nuts and washers. All right, let's give it a test. Looks pretty good right there. Now, if you want, you're done at this point. You were actually done at the point before putting these in. You could have left these off, just kept this a separate piece here, and filled it up with compost and soil, and just shook it like this and put it off to the side. But what I'm going to do here, I want to make a locking mechanism for this. So I'm going to set this in here. I'm going to put marks everywhere where these come out. I'm going to take a drill. I'm going to drill down low here, notch this out. So this is going to set down inside here. And I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to put a notch here so I can set it in and twist it to lock it in place. Before I cut those other notches, I'm going to take this, drop this in here, make sure everything fits good. Look at that. That's nice and tight. This is real snug. You do not need this next step, but I'm going to do it anyway because I said I was going to do it. So with this bucket in place, I'm going to find the center of this bolt and make a line about one inch. And that's where I am going to drill my next hole and I'm going to notch this lip out. I'm going to do the same thing in the same direction for each one of these. So when I push this down, I can give it a twist and it'll lock in place. All right, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Look at that. That is real nice. I am glad I did that. This thing is not going anywhere. Only thing left to do at this point, let's go out and give her a shot. All right, let's test it out in chicken run here with the chicken composting system. Lock in place. I'll put a link in the description about the chicken composting system because if you got chickens, you should definitely be doing this. Just going to take it, load her up, give it a shake. Here's all the stuff that still needs more work. And inside here, we got some really good compost. If you guys like this compost sifter idea, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments. You know I'm all about trying to save you guys a little bit of money here and there.